heading to the UC Davis Human Performance Lab this morning for our baseline testing. We've been doing a DMX body scan to start with, and then a couple series of tests to measure my efficiency of carbon dioxide consumption and lactic acid. And fortunately for me, I don't have to VO2 max test today because I did it last summer, and we get to watch Chad Mendez go through a suffer fest of the VO2 max test, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. This is gonna be fun and painful. You ready? I don't get the VO2 max <laughs> test. I, I, like, I looked at my brother yesterday, I was like, I don't have to do VO2 max today. Awesome, I get to watch Chad. All right. All right, morning. Good to be here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Look forward to what we're gonna do today. How's it going, welcome back. Yeah. So, awesome, awesome fun today. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, he's nervous. The main goal today is just to get some real baseline values to, sure. to see where we are. So we're gonna do some, some basic body composition through the, through the DEXA to look at you know, fat mass, muscle mass, bone density, yeah, all, that, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll do some physiologic testing just to see aerobic and aerobic anaerobic function between the two of you. Yeah. So we'll start with you in the DEXA and we'll start okay. with you doing a, a clearance in the exam room back there. Okay, great. Let's do it. Let's find out what my body's made of. You've never done the DEXA before? I never have. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down on the table. It'll scan up and down your body seven times. Take six minutes to do that. It sends a very small amount of x-ray, but the tissue absorbs that x-ray sure. differently. Okay. So you get real precise measurements, bone, muscle, fat, right side versus left side. All right, so you're all done. See what we made of, what I made of, truly. Yep. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, so your head's going to go that way. Okay. Just try to center yourself to these two lines here. That is so cool. And uh, you'll see all different colors and stuff when it does the oh. printout, too. Dang. Uh, the functional movement screen is a series of seven different movement patterns designed to test your ability to move through and control full range of motion. So go ahead and stand in front of that block facing me. Feet shoulder width apart. Drop into as deep a squat as you can. Hold it for the count of one and then come back up. And you want to try to keep the bar yeah, straight. straight overhead. And come back up. One more time. Okay, good. I think these tests are designed to make an athlete feel unathletic. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially my endurance athletes. Yep, and then just tap the heel and come back. So the objective here is keeping that bar totally vertical to drop into a lunge, touch your knee to the board, and come back up. Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good. Re, re find your balance. Good. And back again. Yeah, trying to touch your fist together, basically. All right, good. <laughs> All right, so right arm, left shoulder, and just raise that elbow. Any pain? Not like no. sharp pain. Tight, tightness is okay. Tight. Yeah. Okay, other side. Are you getting pain with that? Yeah, okay. Left one's okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. Come on back down. Go again. Okay. Good. And then I want you to lift your whole body as one from that position. Boom. Done. Got it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I feel good about that one. <laughs> yeah. Push up. We're going to go extension, knee to elbow, extension, replace. Okay. Go for it. All right, reset. Yep, okay. <laughs> there you go. Knee to elbow. Oh, almost. And that basically ticks all the boxes. All right, so that is the end of the FMS. All right. Yay. Boy. As simple as those look, they're really hard. <laughs> so well, let's get you started warming up over here. His warm up will be probably 10, maybe 15 minutes, and then his test will be 12, 15 minutes. You can last that long. Um, break him sooner. Yeah. Uh, yours will be 20 minute warm up and probably a 30 to 40 minute test.
Didn't Chad set up here for his, his VO2 max test? And we'll be able to take a look at his, his, his aerobic and a little bit of his anaerobic system. And just kind of get a baseline for, for where he is. All right, go ahead and throw that in. Here goes nothing. Every couple of minutes, we're, we're making them run a little bit faster. So it's a progressive overload on the systems. Get a much clearer idea of his, his aerobic and, and anaerobic capacities. Push as far as you can get. Push as far as you can go. Nice work. Yes. Good. Excellent. You just get that full body burn where you just like can't catch your breath. It's pretty similar to being in a fight though and having to push through that. Try to keep that and feel as comfortable as you can in that uncomfortable state. And that's just gonna make us a champion. So for this one, we're really trying to get a good read on the metabolic values. Uh, basically, what your body's burning as a fuel. So we're gonna start you off at a pretty low speed. I okay. wanna make sure we catch everything and increase with long stages to make sure you get uh, physiologically steady state. All right, that's number two. So we're measuring uh, substrate utilization, fat and, and carbohydrate utilization at varying intensities. We're also measuring his lactate response to exercise. In Jason's case, he's doing long-term, low-intensity exercise. So what we want to do is maximize his ability to use his own endogenous fat stores as a fuel. We are doing some jump testing to look for uh, power generation, uh, tendon stiffness, force decrement, a bunch of different things. So we're going to do a series of different styles of jump. All right, and drop down and jump. Good, just like that. Quick off the mat. Yeah, don't fall off. Just like that, make them as high as you can each time. We got a lot of good data today from, from both of you. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time to get it all together, analyze it, and then we'll start planning next steps forward. So we'll get back together and talk about how to implement the, okay. the results of the data, what it means for your training and, and what sorts of interventions you can do. So I think, I think it'll give us directions for other data we need to collect, but I think uh, there's a lot of actionable stuff in the stuff we collected today. Good stuff. Good job, bro. Good job, suffering. Yeah. All right. <laughs>